So as you guys are aware, I am a major, major fan of anime and even more so a major fan of manga. I've showcased some of my collection on stream long, long time ago, and uh, I'm sure I could, will probably have future streams where I'll show more of what I have as I collect more. But one of my favorite mangas and one of my favorite animes by far in terms of movie anyway in this scenario is Akira. Akira is by far a major classic for me and for a lot of people who are into anime and into manga. Akira represents just that movie or that manga just has so much story to it and it is absolutely insane the level of detail that that anime movie came out with for its time and it still holds up and it still stands till this day against other anime and manga that currently exist right now in modern time but why are we talking about akira well unfortunately it's not because i have any good news apparently taika watiti is reportedly moving forward with his live action akira adaptation and he says it sounds like he, all of his focus is on that project this man right here is going to ruin akira i'm sorry i i genuinely believe that i'm not even giving him the benefit of the doubt this man right here the same guy who cucked thor he is going to absolutely destroy akira why is this man getting akira why is anybody even remaking akira a movie that stands the test of time even till this day why are they remaking why are they trying to do a live action of akira a live action akira can you imagine guys just how bad they're probably going to make that movie. The chances of that being any good is going to be very slim to none. I would almost promise that to you. It would take some sort of Twilight Zone scenario for that movie to be good. So let's see what this article has to say. It says, in a development that, if true, would have both anime fans and general audiences recoiling in horror... A new rumor suggests that infamous director Taika, um, I'll ruin your mythos in a minute, Waititi is moving full steam ahead with his previously announced live-action cinematic adaptation of Kachiro Otomo's legendary manga, Akira. I'm telling you guys, the fact that he... He did say this, by the way. I, I don't know if you guys remember that, but he did say that I will ruin your mythos in a minute. That's how he feels when he adapts certain IPs. And uh, he's had a lot of fights with people who are obviously into comics. Now this man is trying to step his foot into manga. And I'm telling you, we have to protect this stuff because I just can't see manga fall. I can't. I can't see an IP such as Akira fall into the hands of someone like Taika Waititi. Like, obviously, it's going to happen. There's not much I could do to stop it. But again, it's just really, really sad to see. It's something that I will completely ignore for sure. And I would only watch it if I'm going to review it for the channel. Oh, but other than that, I would never watch this from Taika. I just know I just know it's going to be bad. It says, first tapped to helm the project in 2017, Waititi's Warner Brothers produced take on Akira was originally set to release in May of 2021 opposite John Wick Chapter 4. The latter was eventually moved to 2023 thanks to the COVID-19 pandemic wreaking havoc on Hollywood's production schedules. With the director promising that his film would have focused more on honoring Otomo's original manga rather than his famous animated adaptation and to be honest with you i would be completely fine if he chooses to adapt more of the manga versus the actual animated film because the manga for akira is way more in depth than the animated film could ever be there is so much story that's actually skipped in the animated film than that's in the manga and i only found this out as i got older and started to read manga because of course as most people probably did i saw the anime first okay and i thought the anime uh was the full story from beginning to end but as you read the manga you'll very quickly realize that that's nowhere near the case and there is so much more that was left out of the movie compared to the manga so if he does choose to do the manga uh, i would hope he does it right because there's so much source material there um to play with but unfortunately this is taika watiti there's no way in hell he's doing this right he says, I actually love the books, Waititi told IGN in 2017. Yeah, I'm sure you do. You love the books just like you love the comics, right? Yeah, I'm sure. When asked about his involvement with the live-action film, love the movie, but I would not do a remake of the movie. I would do an adaptation of the books. And yeah, so anyway, there's been some chats about me directing Akira. However, before his adaptation could probably fire in its engines and move past preliminary casting discussions, Waititi put the entire project on hold in favor of directing his recent disaster, Thor, Love and Thunder, according to sources who allegedly spoke to THR, YTD's temporary exit was also prompted by script development concerns. And again, this is the guy who said that he loved the comic books. This is the guy who said he loved the character Thor. And look what he did with Thor. So you can only imagine by him saying, oh yeah, I, I totally love Akira. Yep, I love the books. Does that give you any kind of hope? 
Does that give you any kind of good feelings in you that, that you think they're going to take care of this IP? Probably not. I don't think they're going to take care of it at all. And whenever these people say they love the books, I actually take that more as a sign that they're going to ruin it even more. To be honest with you, I'm just being honest because, again, look what happened with Amazon's Rings of Power. They were like, oh, yeah, we love the books. We're major, major, major fans of Tolkien. We're definitely going to respect the lore. And we're going to write the book that he never wrote. And look what happened. Same thing's going to happen with Akira. It says, but now after having essentially put a nail into the coffin of Thor's MCU character, it looks like Waititi is turning his attentions back to Neo Tokyo. On April 8th, Deadline senior film reporter Justin Kroll announced via his personal Twitter account that since everyone is wondering where his Star Wars film is, if I were a betting man, my guess is Taika's next movie is his Akira movie at WB, which he put on shelf to do for Love and Thunder. He never left the film, and word is script should be into studio soon. He added, again, nothing set in stone as the film would go through regular process before Greenlight, including figure out a budget, but sounds like all of his focus is on that project. And man, when this guy puts all of his energy into ruining something he damn sure is going to ruin it i'm telling you i have zero faith in this movie despite kroll's reporting as of writing neither ytd nor anyone from warner brothers has offered official confirmation of the director's return to the project further wb's live action akira has also yet to receive an updated release window so again, guys, I'm very nervous about this. I fucking love Akira, man. I really do. I even have like the 35th anniversary collection box um, that I never, I've only opened twice and both of them were on stream and I never wanted to open it because I'm trying to obviously keep it in uh, in good condition. Uh, and even when you open the box, it still has that new uh, book smell. So that goes to show how often I never open this thing. But again, I have stuff like that. I have all the original manga books. I have the collection boxes. I have all of this because I love Akira so much. And I genuinely enjoy the source material, but it it pains me to see someone like Taika Waititi, aka again, I'll ruin your mythos in a minute, Taika Waititi, take over an IP such as fucking Akira. Like, I, I can you imagine what he's gonna do to Tetsuo? Can you imagine that? I promise you, they're gonna make Tetsuo probably black, or Kaneda is probably gonna be black. One of the two. It's gonna it's gonna be so fucking bad. They're gonna make all the little kids right. The, the little Akira kids, they're going to make them all little black kids, I promise you. But again, it goes to show just how bad Hollywood has fallen that now they're trying to go after Japanese IPs. They're trying to go after mangas. They're trying to go after notoriously known animes. And they've tried this before. Don't get me wrong. They definitely tried to adapt anime before or mangas before. They tried it with Cowboy Bebop on Netflix. Major flop, right? They tried it so many times with different things. Look at Dragon Ball Evolution, one of the worst movies of all time. It completely flopped because they didn't respect the source material. So again, Chances are this is going to be a yet another flop from Taika Waititi and only time is going to tell. Thankfully, this thing is a very long time away, so I don't have to subject myself to this anytime soon. But I'm sure once it does come out, I will unfortunately have to do it for you guys on the channel. Even though I love you guys so much, I, I, I don't know if I can watch one of my favorite animes and mangas just get torn apart. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, consider leaving me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you thought. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.